Nintendo Switch is absolutely my favorite place to play. If you didn't know, I have a freaking channel dedicated to the console. But I've loved how much third parties have embraced this system, especially as of late. We're getting indies, we're getting triple A's, we're getting day and daters, we're getting incredible ports, and so it has been so much fun. I've been stoked to see what Torchlight 2 would be like on Switch. It's the perfect game to take on the go, looting and leveling, and it'll be even cooler once Switch Lite rolls around later this month. But if I'm honest with you, the main reason I want to check out Torchlight 2 on the console is because of who made it possible. They are the masters of magic. They are the wizards of this wonderful system. They are panic button, and everything they touch has been golden thus far. From Wolfenstein to Warframe, Hob and now Torchlight 2, they somehow have the secret sauce, and they continue to spread it around different IPs, exciting IPs, major IPs, and we're about to find out in this mini-series if they've done it again with Torchlight 2. Big thanks to Perfect World for sponsoring this series and making it all possible. I It was an easy decision to agree to it because it's Panic Button, and I know that their bar and their barometer for success and for delivering an awesome port is so high that there's not much to worry about. But we'll find out how excellent it is. They have tweaked the UI, they've reworked the controls, they've brought in achievements, there's an exclusive unicorn pet on Switch, HD Rumble on Switch, and they're even teasing maybe a patch for Switch Lite to make that font work for those of you that like the small screen all the time. So away we go into Torchlight 2. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure to smash that like button if you enjoy the video and want to check out more if you're, if you're a Switch fan. Do any of you over here have a Switch? I know everybody over on Switch Force has a Switch, but how many of you Ghost Robo OG fans have a Switch? Let me know in the comments down below, and we're going to create a brand new character. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm giving away a bunch of copies of the game, a bunch of codes for the Switch version of Torchlight 2. All you got to do to enter is leave a comment letting me know why you want the game. Hit that like button, and then follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Ghost Robo. I've got a handful of codes for you all, and we'll give those away very soon here. Make Make sure to check back to find out who won. But for now, let's get on with it. Torchlight. I really like Torchlight quite a lot. I didn't have as much time with Torchlight 2. And then when I heard rumblings that it was coming to Switch, I was like, I just I just should save everything. Because I want to play it here. This will be so much fun. And it is an awesome game to pocket and playing. Which is my terminology for things I like to take on the go. That dude's hype. We got Berserker, Engineer, Outlander. Outlander's got them guns. Ember Mage casting them spells. An engineer, what, what's he got? He's gonna build stuff, I guess? Looking pretty sweet. Um, okay, that's a male engineer. We've got uh, female engineers, female outlander. I Ember Mage seems cool, but the outlander, I kinda wanna go outlander. It's like a pirate. It's pretty freaking sweet. All right, different faces that we can modify here. Let's make sure we make all the right choices. Um, Hairstyles. Ooh, I kind of, I kind of like the uh, the headband look. That's kind of sweet. Um, or do we want to rock the uh, the little? The, they're kind of like ribbon ribbon bangs. It's like Merry Christmas on your head. I like that one right there. Um, go with some go with some red hair. My name is not Yeti though. That is absolutely not the case. My name is gonna be Muffin, which is uh which is my cat's name. Um, that that's that's like the new thing, right? You uh. You get a pet, and before you know it, your pet takes over your gaming habits, which is pretty awesome. So, uh, ooh, okay, you guys ready for the unicorn? Where are you at, unicorn? There, yeah, buddy. That The unicorn is, dude, are you on a donut diet? What you been eating? I hope those potions are to, to lose weight. We're definitely going to need that. Dude, we can go super, super MLP in here. Um, ooh, the black... A black unicorn? Is that is that even real? I kind of like the rainbow hair. I feel like if we're going to go, we might as well go all out. Our pet name is definitely not Muffin. Our pet name can be Zack. I will be the pet, and Muffin will be the hero of the day. All right. I think we're locked and loaded. We're ready to go. Normal, hardcore, beautiful. I'm unrecognized, but I've got a unicorn, so believe you me, they're going to recognize me super fast. Deep beneath torchlight, a darkness gathered. Three heroes confronted the beast called Ordrock. Yet even in death, Ordrock's corrupted heart endured and called out.
may fall, hope may fade, but new heroes will arise. Let's go, baby. I'm so freaking hyped for this. Oh, look at my unicorn. Pretty fat. Pretty darn fat. But looking lovely and ready to rock and roll. We got our wheel of wonder on the left. We're at Echo Pass. And it's time to, to destroy her. Okay. I think this is as far as I can go. You should carry on to the Asterian Enclave. But you're on your own. Warn them that the Alchemist destroyed Torchlight and has headed their way. He may be there already. Alrighty then, time to roll out. Everybody else is kind of chilling like villains here. Oh, phew. careful. Loaded and locked. We've also got this incredible glaive, which I really freaking... I like that a lot. I do like it a lot. I take some of our blue goo, but, you know, it kind of is what it is. We're going to get this party started. My unicorn, like, I'm nervous you're going to get stuck in some of the tighter passageways of this game. I'm currently playing on Pro Controller um, because I'm playing docked. But I will, if I, you know, I'm not recording, I will be playing majority of this uh, handheld because it's like exactly the game you want to be playing handheld, exactly the type of game that you want to be playing. Um, and uh, I'll check out the, I'll check out like the fonts and stuff for you guys handheld. Like I mentioned, Panic Button had said like they may try to do a patch specifically for, um, for Switch Lite because that's been a concern of some people like, oh, smaller screen. But like I've played a bunch of Switch Lite. Let me tell you, it's honestly not that much smaller. Um, the, the screen really does not feel as small as you may expect it to feel. It's actually a pretty darn awesome and nice screen. Thanks, old boy. Actually, it's me. I'm, I'm the fat unicorn in this in this world. Look at those headbutts from Zack. Doing dastardly work of these wigwam warriors. Thanks for the mana potions. Um, let's see. Do we have... Anything better? Um, hey, I do have some better gloves. Appreciate it. Torchlight has so much flexibility in its classes and its leveling up. All of its systems. Uh, they also have super cool enemies. Let's go. I mean, they look less cool when they're laying down dead, but they start off very nice. Look at that. Level 2 already, and we're rocking and rolling. Let's go, baby. Hey, get glaved. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. That's okay. Thanks for all the gold, though. Guy's hiding behind trees. Get him shot. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, let's check out what we got over here. Um, skills. Thank you kindly. All sorts of skills, as you can see. We got lore skills, sigil skills, warfare skills. Um, glaive throw. We got details here. Throwing that glaive, slicing through. Add that poison damage. Um, Rapid fire over here. Rapid burst of projectiles that force enemies back and strip their armor. That sounds good. But again, like, what I love about Torchlight as a franchise is all the flexibility they have here. Alright, so long range mastery. All of that. Shattering Glaive. That sounds pretty freaking cool. I'm not gonna get that yet. So it's either Rapid Fire, Blade Pact, an ancient curse that slows your foe. Okay. Or more Glaive Throw. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go Rapid Fire. I like that. Thank you kindly. All right, so strength increases all our weapon damage. Obviously, that's a great place to start, so two points there feels nice. We've also got dexterity, focus, and uh, vitality. I'm going to drop some into vitality, or at least I think we'll be okay health-wise. So I'm actually going to go... Let's go the rex rest there into dexterity. I like that a lot. Feeling pretty fancy. All right, ready to roll. Continuing down the echo path. Oh, hello. Oh, I, I don't think I... I, did I, I didn't equip my... um. My rapid fire. Did I now? Let's see. Let's put it on Y then. Thank you kindly. Alright, so now we've got rapid fire. We can heal up. Thank you! Um, I think there were a few other things up this way. Let's check out rapid fire. Ooh, I like rapid fire. That's going to be a go-to for me for sure. Doing all sorts of Good work. Thanks for the broadsword that we probably don't need, but I'll take your health potion. Appreciated. In the rocks we find not much divine. Boom. There we go. Get him back. Get him back. Glaive him up. Knock him into the water. I like that so much. Environmental. Uh, oh, dude. Did you, did you see the spaghetti mess that the unicorn just made? 
I guess I guess that big butt comes in handy. It's it's pretty helpful to have a super strong headbutting biting evil unicorn. Kind of a fan. Kind of like that a lot now. I, I was making fun of making fun of your half earlier, but now I'm now I'm understanding why you bulked up for this adventure. It makes so much more sense now, doesn't it? All right, there we go. Good work. Thanks for the belt. We got some archers there, but. Don't even have to worry when you have a friend like Zack the Unicorn. Finish that fight, and away we go. Ooh, a little chest over here. It is locked. You guys got a key? Ooh, we got a big boy. Somebody looking quite ferocious. Yup, there we go. A champion. Not gonna let you come after me. Beautiful. Thanks for the fame. And a new gun. Torchlight is so good about giving you so much loot so quickly. Like, they do not mess around with that at all. You're going to constantly have options. Constantly have new things to mess with. I... There we go. Yep, I, fig I figured we'd get a key from around here. Uh -huh. Beautiful. All right. Let's 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 quickly look and see what we got. Ooh, I can't, I can't use it yet? Too much for me? All right. Sounds good. It, it looks very beautiful. Um, oh, it requires level 4 or dexterity 24. Okay, so we're not going to be able to put that in yet. Belt is equipped. Cool, cool. Oh, the ring is also a not equipable? Yeah. Level 3. Okay. So we're going to have to wait for that. But that'll be A-OK. -okay. Beneficial as we continue to travel down this path. Please help me. I can't hold off these things by myself. All right, we got you. Hold on. Let me, let me get up through here. Rapid fire does the trick. All right, cool. Oh, you're you're the helper. What's Got you. You saved my life. Um, I can take a pocket pistol, a varmint stub, or a simple crossbow, but it's two-handed. Hmm. This could be an instant improvement, or we could wait to level four for those others. I'm gonna take this uh this pet tag. Sweet. Okay. Put that on our pet. Hello, pet. I like that we can put a freaking pet tag on you. There you go. Should wear that thing with pride, Zach. Gonna help you out and help me out as you click clack your way through this mountain pass. We're already level three, so I'm glad I didn't glad I didn't waste something on that dude's uh, weapon ring. Be much better. Oh, look at these guys doing work. There we go. I'm so proud of the class we picked. I like it a lot. We're already grabbing more skills. Um. Do we want to grab Blade Pact, or should we... I want to improve my Glaive Throw. There we go. And then you get five more stat points, so we'll go Strength. Um, I'm going to take that Dexterity. I'll, I'll give myself a little armor, but I really want that Dexterity to be flying high. All right, to the Enclave. Warn the Asterians. That is our plan. That is our purpose. And that is what we must do. Hello, everyone. How do you like my rainbow What's unicorn? What's business here? Okay, don't like the business that my unicorn brings? It's basically a smoothie in physical form. Look at the colors. Look at the deliciousness. It's so beautiful. And also so freaking fun. Maybe you'll have more appreciation. But it has arrived too late. This alchemist has already come and gone. And it was all I could do to prevent him from entering the enclave. As it was, many Estelians were injured. And since the confrontation, several more have become ill. We are not sure what is causing it. After his assault failed here, the alchemist carried on southward toward the temple steps. Commander Vale and her vanquishers arrived a short while later and pursued him, hoping to prevent further damage. Sounds good. Thank you for my potential level 7 gun or this... I love this farmer's shotgun. Dude, that is so freaking fancy. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't... Do I want... I don't know that I need any of this. It requires level 5, but it does have a socket. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. alchemist might attack the Wellspring Temple in an attempt to reach the Guardian of Water. what nefarious purpose I am afraid to speculate. There has been no word from either Vale or the Guardian. Scout the Wellspring Temple and determine if the Guardian of Water is in any danger. Got you, Chief. Got you, got you, got you. 
We have received a quest. What are you doing? Yes. Skill respec. Oh, I don't need that. That's okay. Like the flexibility. Don't need it yet. What's your business here? Ooh, I don't have armor schematics, but I would like them. So thank you for the quest. You have a new quest. Appreciated. All right. Let's go to this temple and see what turns up. And um, let's make sure I've got. Uh, we've got the War Beast Armory. Temple Oh, they're both this temple temple stops. Okay. So this is the we'll track both these. Head back yonder. Skeletal shamblers. Dude, they must know it's almost Halloween. I also like that there's skeletal torsos. On top of these skeletal archers. Giving me nightmares here. Ooh. Bust through that armor. Get bought by the big boy. And away we go. But they're crawling out of the woodwork here. What are you guys up to? Leave me alone. It's amazing how well these games have translated to console. Like, just like in terms of like these action RPGs with a heavy loot focus. It's something that people just clicked and clicked and clicked and clicked and clicked until their, their arms got sore. Their hands got cramped. And now I feel like they fit better than, better than anyone could have predicted... Uh, on console, and especially on Switch, being the on-the-go platform that it's capable of being. And thus far, it does absolutely seem like Panic Button has yielded a really well-performing adventure. Uh, and I like the HD Rumble, honestly. It's like a small touch, but it's something I don't take for granted with the Switcheroo. It's just a nice feel that you don't... I don't know, I get, I get very used to. And then I go somewhere else, I'm like, oh! Oh! So far, also, text is... um doing a very good job of being big and readable, right? You guys can read that, I'm sure, even on YouTube, which is super important. What is, look at this guy over here. This axe thrower man, just kind of chilling in the corner with his big cape, his big head. And I will make sure that we make him dead, crushing these bony bros. That's all right. Low or not, crits will conquer the day. Thanks for the chat. Oh, oh, evil chest. Holy cow, there's mimics. What game is this? Thanks for the mimics, man. As another skeleton comes out of the woodwork. Out of the dirt work would be more apt at this time. Alright, I gotta get down. How do I... Huh, maybe I can wrap around? I like that you can swap the map around. Did you see that? How I I can make the map quite large? Or, I, like, here? Or I can put it up in the corner? Um, I prefer the circular mini-map. Ooh, look at, look at that dude. Getting feisty with me. Knock them back. Skeletons popping out. Left and right. I leveled up. I was going to have to use a potion because my health was getting on the slim side of things. But thankfully, the level up saves the day. And at level 4, we can uh, we can swap out our guns. Yeah, it looks like we're going to go up and around. One shot, one kill. Making them a splattery Italian mess. It's like a pasta restaurant all over the battlefield. Thank you kindly. Get back. Whoa, Zach with the good work. I'm glad I got this unicorn, man. Helping me out, keeping everything ice cream and rainbows, and really keeping me safe. With those vicious, plunging headbutts. I need your help. Okay, there's a corrupted crypt. We can get a critter stub, some pauldrons, and an ornate derringer of the vampire. Look at that pistol, has three freaking barrels. Yes, please, thanks. Take me to the corrupted crypt. I'm gonna level up first, though, so that we're not corrupted. All right, here we go. Let's um, let's let's grab this blade pact, and let's also grab a little bit of strength, a little bit of health. Um, I don't I don't know how much focus I really need, but we'll start working on it just in case. Um, let's put put the blade pact here on the right trigger, um, and see how oh, this looks. Freaking nasty and dangerous down here. Already loading us in. It's a spooky freaking... It's the haunted mansion. Up in here. Get him gone. Urns. Urns. These undead are hard to kill. Apparently. We make quick work of them though. Thank you. Very kindly. Good work. Okay, I do... Oh, wow. Here we go. This is what I've been after. There we go. Get everybody cursed by that blade pad. 
and then go to town on them all. Oh, I set a portal. Did not mean to do that. Sorry for the scroll usage. I just got a little button happy there. Don't go through, Zack. It's not a good place. There we go. Brutalization. I'm grabbing all the goodies. Thank you. Let's go check our inventory. Um, those are equipped, right? That's good. Thank you. Up here, we got this electric amulet. Gives electric armor. Thank you for the cloth gloves. All right, now the guns. The stocking gun cannot be used, but the mouse gun looks like we're ready for it. There's also the hand cannon. Um, but that, that has the slot. I like that. Thanks for the superior mouse gun. Um, we don't have another mouse gun on this side, but we can use this pepper box, which is a little bit better. Um, this guy here has a slot. I don't know that I have anything for it yet. That's okay. Um, we got our pants on. Always a good idea to have your pants on. Still some slots to fill, but feeling a lot stronger. Look at that. I got that glow. There we go. Now really popping damage. Oh, am I am I a one-gun girl all of a sudden? I am. Okay. I can't... Wait, I, wait, I can't... Okay, there we go. Okay, both again. I was about to say, I can use both these, right? There weren't any two-handed weapons. I just unequipped one back. Down the well you go. Peace out, girl scout. Right, let's pop these urns. Something... Oh, dude. Lord Voldemort's... Brain essence about to emerge from that hole. Thank you. Kindly. My kooky friend. Alright. Down with the zombies. Get out of here. Thanks for the gold. We're gonna venture further and further. We gotta grab... Well, we gotta grab all the ghoulies first. And it looks like there is somebody big behind that gate. You see that? I'm sure you guys witness the madness over there. It's incredible how good your pet is. <laughs> I like traveling with a pet, though. It, keep, it you know, it keeps you company. It makes it feel like less of a of a lonely, invisible journey. And it's like you got a friend in me. It's, it's not a genie, but this unicorn is close. She definitely, he definitely, definitely has magic up in that mane. Hey, get laid. Thank you. All right. You can see we're progressing quite. Yep. Here. Oh, I like that. Look at that big dude. Ah, I love how Zack just brilliantly wanders in to all of these terrifying situations and just doesn't even, isn't even phased, you know? Used the health potion there for the first time because the horde, they started swarming and sneaking. Yeah, look at all that loot, all that good stuff. Who, what's this guy's name? Bizularka. Bizularka. Look at that guy. What are you doing, my dude? Bazoolarak. Bazoolarak? He resists poison. He's a champion undead. And he's got he's got the height to show for it. This dude is the Yao of this temple. Oh my goodness. On death he spawns two more? Are you kidding me? I love that though. Already bringing the heat. There's level 5. Thank you very much. Get him. Good deal. Yup. The theory blow. A lot of health potion pickups there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big Skeletors over in the corner. We fought a big dude, but it looks like there's even more lurking. How do we open? Ooh, somebody's... What the heck? What it? Unicorn, did you spawn that? What the heck just got spawned in? A pit of skeletons. It looks like the skeleton general might be summoning from below. Let's see if we can get around to him. I like how these skeletons all come to life. The environments are very active. It's not just like, hey, there's nothing going on. And they're static, but pretty. Like, I love that there's so many effects. And I love that it's running so smooth. That's, like, the key here, right? That's the, the biggest key. How did the unicorn get down there? How did you how'd you manage that? We're supposed to stick together, and you're already advancing. This unicorn's like, I've been here before. I know these parts. I understand. You're way too slow for me. Okay, it, we're locked off over here. What did we get? A blue? Unidentified amulet. Let's go equip that real quick. Oh, I also leveled up. Rings, pants, thanks. Unidentified amulet. Sturm bolt amulet. We've got the electric amulet, level 5, level 4. 8 electric armor, 9 electric armor. Sure, we'll take that there. Um, 3 physical armor, 4 physical armor, plus the slot. Okay. Okay. 
let's see. Um, what, what are the, what's the next level here? Knockback, reducing armor. Yeah, we'll go there. Strength, dex, health. Beautiful. I like it, I like it. Alright, I gotta... I wish I could just jump down. But I cannot just yet. Unicorn found the way. I probably should not advance anymore. I gotta get down there. One, to face this skeleton general. And two, just to reunite with my boy. How did you get down? Where did you go? Oh, here. Okay. Wait a second. A few more pickups. How did you mean? Oh, there's a lever. Okay. Bring forth the giant. Oh my goodness. There are a whole lot of paranormal demons down here. Cast that up. Glaive in. Shoot. Oh wow. Birds. Shroud wings. This is not good. We're doing okay. Doing okay. Keeping him at bay. Keeping him at bay. Get that glaive for those ricochets. Nice critical. Oh wow. He's just Look how many are getting spawned over and over. This is insane. So many enemies. I love that they're overwhelming us early. We're like, what? 20 minutes into the game and it's already getting feisty? You gotta respect that a lot. You gotta love that. Holy cow. Not looking good. There we go. Oh boy. Uni I love that unicorn is just calm. It really, it really keeps me calm in these disaster situations. Okay, the troll crusher. You gotta go, man. We gotta take you out. Yep, there we go. Got the shroud rings, got the ice amulet. Some good pickups. One more general. You're out of here. Good deal. Okay. Woo. Extra gold, extra chests. Oh, all right. We did our very, very best, and it shows. Yep, all those pickups. Yes, striking dragon staff. Makes me wish... I could use it, but I probably can't. We got new stuff every which way. Cool. Ring tunic. Unidentified pants. Okay, we gotta identify those, I guess. We'll keep our ring pants for now. Light infantry boots. Um, requires level 12 and it's two-handed. What is our pepper box is level two? We got a level seven gun, but no poison damage. I do like that, though. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at how many weapons we already have. How crazy is that? How is this a uh, mouse gun? It's level 5. It's 43 speed. Alright, we have well, we have two of them equipped now. Nice. Three armor there. And a much better belt with ice armor and electric armor. Thank you. Okay, cool. We're ready to go. Let's advance down this hall. See if we can't solve this. Beautiful. Out with your soul. Even though it sure doesn't seem like you had one to start. Okay, let's take the big staircase. Back up. And we gotta go around town. Leaving a legion of left behinds wherever we travel. Zombie down below, but we'll let him go. Hello? There's some spooky, creepy smoke. But this is definitely the path we need to pursue. What's up, dudes? Diving deeper and deeper into this corrupt crypt. I'm sure we'll have to go down a floor. There we go. Yeah, buddy. That's how you do it. Rock and roll. I love that you can knock them off ledges. Such a simple but awesome effect. We're like... All range. The glaive is kind of like a long form melee weapon. But it's also basically a projectile, so. Keep our distance from all of these uh, terrors and atrocities. Pushing the level, though, real quick. Man, we're gonna be like freaking double digits by no in no time. Okay, opened up a nice curse. Skeletal Shamblers, throw that glaive, and down we go. Alright, I, oh wow, I am in a bad way. There we go, thank you very much. Didn't, didn't see that happening. Guns are too good. Oh, there's little spiders on the ground as well. Did you know that there's a head crab pet in this game? I didn't even know that was a thing. Kind of freaking awesome that there is a, a Half-Life reference. 
Or, I mean, a straight-up Half-Life inclusion. Ooh, there's a Gooby. Thank you to my wonderful friend, the Unicorn, for killing the Gooby. Um, let's get down to this, uh, what do they call it down here? The Fallen Guardian? Yeah, that sounds like a friendly face, does it not? It sounds like a friendly face, that growl. The Forgotten Chamber, oh my god. Like, Torchlight has a lot of bright colors, right? So you're like, oh, it's like a friendly... It's like a friendly world. Nope, there are just as many demonic scourges in this as there are in the other one. Ooh, wow, that's a direct hit. I, I haven't been direct hit very often. Get that blowback. Beautiful, alright. Who is in here? Who's hanging out? Vile Nasher. Skeletal freaking Nasher. Good deal, good deal. Alright. Perfect. Got a nice little hat, you see that? A light cap. Sarcophagus with a smoky smell. It reeks like a dead person. Beautiful! Alright, if I learned anything from uh, action RPGs, it's like, down is the way to go. The best loot lives below. Ooh, okay. This is gonna be a painful place. I like that. Skeletal General, level 5. Getting wrecked real quick. We've got another one of these guys on the bridge. Yup, there we go. I'm, I'm trapped, I'm stuck. Oh god, that's not good. I'm super slowed. Get out of there! Luckily I've got a bunch of health potions. It should help. Balkathon. Another Shroud Ring Summoner. Get him, Uni. Ah. Okay, you gotta go down. Thank you kindly. Killed these shroud wings and we're good. All right, we cool. We cool. I love these teleporting dudes. Like, who do you think you are, freaking teleporting behind me? I like. Oop. Fallen Guardian with a special attack. Elite undead. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna level up for this guy. Thanks, thanks very much. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Never mind. Forgot that it, that pausing was not a thing. Save our soul. There we go. All right, we're in good shape. Get him glaved. Get him glaved. Get him shot. The vile Nasher's got to get out of here first. Now we can go after the guardian. Yep, you're out of here. Boom. Extra fame. Thank you for the scroll. We grabbed it. Grab the ghoulie. Grab the goodie and the ghoulie. It's like, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You absolutely can. When you've got a freaking unicorn pet. <laughs> Good deal. You're dead. Thank you. Alright. Now let's grab the upgrades that we need. Um... Blade pack is pretty sweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna go glaive throw though. I wanna take that a little bit taller. Twenty. We'll boost our health. We haven't really focused too much on our health. Um light cap is ready to go. Tunic is ready. Those are too high of level, but the light breaches look nice. Extra mana and vitality there. Um okay. Thanks for that. Any new guns? I don't believe so. I think I would have noticed. Yeah, we're, we're okay for now. Okie dokie, artichoking. Is there an exit in this back path? I'm not sure, but there is another chest, which we'll definitely try to grab before we're out of here. Thank you kindly. A light coif, a cloth vest, and a portal. 
to the surface. Thank you very much. Took down the mini boss. And uh, Thanks. completed the quest. We get to pick. Do we want a critter stub? <laughs> Such a funny name. Uh, rare shoulder armor. or a, I love this pistol so much. It requires level 14, but it looks so cool. And it steals health. And it's got a triple jam barrel. We gotta, we gotta rock with that. Thank you very much. Okay. There's a locked chest here. Okay, these guys leak spirits. Thank you. Boom, 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 boom. Haunting their, uh... Haunting their hall. Okay, so we gotta go, I think, up to go down. Skeletons now popping out of the ground with some Mario hops. I, li I like that, uh... I like those leaping abilities I see there. Very nice, very nice. Alright, get glaved. Alright, let's see if we can go... Downward ho. Uh, now that we've moved our way around, looks like we're approaching the lovely southern star. It's not the northern star, it's the southern star, but that's okay. Skeletal archers. Skeletal jumpers. Leaping like leprechauns. Except it's not that holiday. Alright. Get back, get back. You don't know me like that. Away, away, away. I love the, uh... I love the character I picked. Like, I did, I'm, I made clearly, clearly you, uh, the choice. Alright, the Warbeast Armoring, level 6 through 8. We're just right at the cusp. Feeling quite good about it. And let's see what we can do. Welcome to the... T oh, it's a waypoint portal. Okay. And we got all sorts of things in every direction. Beautiful water, a little bit of rain, and a unicorn that helps deliver extreme pain. New enemies in a new area as we begin to set foot deeper and deeper into the magical world of Torchlight 2. That panic button has clearly done another wonderful job with absolutely enjoying this adventure so much so far. It is, as I mentioned, the perfect game to take on the go, and I can't freaking wait to experience that for myself. Can't record on the go, obviously, so we've got it docked for now, and it, it looks good here. They've, they've balanced and managed the, uh, the UI, the font. I really like how they've handled that, and that HD Rumble giving a little extra, oh, extra oomph when we get those glaive throw criticals. I love it a lot. Hopefully you guys do as well. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of Torchlight 2 on the Switch. It's out now if you want to pick it up. You can grab it immediately. And if you want to enter that giveaway, all you got to do is leave a comment letting me know why you want the game. And then uh, leaving a like on the video and following me over on Twitter. Link is always in the description for Twitter as we face a champion over here. We'll finish him off uh, and then call it quits. But thanks so much for being here. Big thanks again to Perfect World for making this all possible and a big thanks to panic button for for doing the magic that they're able to to do here on switch it's always a, a crazy cool time to see the port job that they do and thank you down goes the bad boy and we'll see you all soon until that time everybody thanks so much for watching a fantastic day drink so much i love you a lot and we'll see you all alive